Hello boys and girls, how are you? I have to say that I loved all your butterflies. I got a lot of pictures of butterflies that you did, uh, that you made at home. They were all very beautiful. I shared some of them and some of them I still haven't shared, but I will get to it. And today we're going to keep learning about insects like we've been learning in the classroom. I have a very special box and I'm gonna open it because there's a glass on top and probably you cannot see very well with the top so we're gonna open it and we're gonna see all the different insects that i have here i think they're all insects and if you remember insects had six legs and we're gonna see if we can count some legs here let me actually get a pencil so i can point to the legs okay here we have this is a grasshopper here let's see and let's see if it has six legs. Okay, let's have one, two, three, four, five, six. It does have six legs. It also has two antenna, if you can see them, one and two coming out of its head. I have a really huge one here. This one is, I think it's called a rhino beetle or a rhinoceros beetle because it has a very long horn. And all of these things up here, they're kind of horns that it has. But let's see if they had six legs too, okay? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, and six. This one had a little accident and now it's missing a piece of it. This is another kind of beetle. Isn't it beautiful? Look, it's so shiny. I'm not sure what it's called, but let's see if it had six legs. Let's see if we can count them. One two three four five six it also has two antenna can you see them and i have other bugs some of them i bought them and some of them i found them in my yard like this butterfly i found it in my yard isn't it beautiful this one too it's a june bug and some other beetle the kind of well, the ones that are kind of like normal are the ones that i found in my yard this one also and the grasshopper too. But then I have some of that I bought, like the big beetle that I showed you right now. That's called a rhinoceros beetle. This is called a cicada. I think that's how you say it. And it's huge. Look, this is my hand, so you can see how big it is. It's almost as big as my hand. So I'm so happy that I've never seen one for real because I would be really freaked out if I saw one. It's hard to see the legs. I can see the one on the two on the front and the two in the back and the two in the middle. I think they're tucked under the body. But the one I wanted to show you today is this beautiful, beautiful butterfly. Can you see it? This butterfly is called a blue morpho butterfly. Isn't it nice? I love how the, it's blue and it's shiny. And the most beautiful thing about the blue morpho butterfly is that you see this is the, the part that goes up and then if I turn it the other way, let me see if I can get it out of here. It's a little stuck in there. There. <gasps> Look at the other side. Here, let me take this out. Look at the other side. Of the blue morpho butterfly. I'll put it here so you can see it better. Isn't it amazing? So one side here is blue. I know that you cannot here I'll hold it like this. This side is blue and then this side is brown and it has like little dots looks like little eyes and today I wanted to make a blue morpho butterfly so I want to take a good look at it this is how it looks on the back and this is how it looks on the front so we're gonna use mainly two colors we're gonna use blue for this side and we're gonna use brown for this other side and I also um, uh, put a video for you to watch you can watch it by yourself or you can watch it with your mom and your dad it's a go dig or go video 
about blue morpho butterflies. We're gonna be learning a lot of them, but we're also gonna be making one. Okay, I wanna take a good, good look because I wanna make one. So I can see it has one, two, three, one, two, three, three circles on the wings that are on the top, and then one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four circles on the ones that are on the bottom. And it also has like these little lines around it. Let me see if the light can, can you see it? Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're gonna, I'm not gonna put it too hard because I wanna take a look at it later. I'm just gonna leave it like that, like this. And then I'm gonna move my case back here and I'm gonna get my, my paper and this is the butterfly we made the other day. I'm gonna put it away. And now we're gonna be making the blue morpho butterfly. To make the blue morpho butterfly, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pull one, one um, page out of my block. Or you can just take one piece of paper. I don't want the blue morpho butterfly to be huge, so I'm just gonna cut it in half because I don't need so much paper. So. My paper is about this size. Now I'm gonna cut it in half, like this. And now I'm gonna look in here and I'm gonna pick the colors that I need. I'm gonna have to take them out because otherwise I cannot see very well what the colors are. Like that. All right, so let's pick a blue for the blue morpho butterfly. I think this is a nice blue, maybe something a little brighter. Maybe this blue? Oh, let me see. I don't know. I think maybe let's try this one, it seems brighter. So I'm, first I'm going to just color the page. So I'm gonna color a lot of the page. There we go. Mm, I think I'm gonna need to sharpen the pencil. So give me a minute and I will sharpen the pencil and I'll be right back. Okay, so I am back with my sharpened pencil. I'm almost done coloring the blue. Uh, you can put the pencil, instead of putting it like this, you can put it like this and that way you can color it faster. You can also help <coughs> ask your mom or your dad to help you coloring this because it's a lot of coloring. Maybe you you have a big brother or a big sister, they can help you too. Okay, now on the other side, I'm going to color it. What color do you think I'm gonna pick? What color was the other side of the blue morpho butterfly? Yellow! Green! It was brown. brown. You're so silly. So I'm gonna get bright brown and I'm gonna do the same with brown. Maybe this brown's a little too light, but hey. Okay, so I think that's pretty brown. Okay, so we have blue and we have brown. That's perfect for a blue morpho butterfly. I'm gonna make it a little more brown. I think it's not brown enough. Okay. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut out the blue morpho butterfly. So I'm gonna fold it in half. You can also ask um, a grown up for help with this. And then I'm going to take my pencil and I'm going to draw the wings of the blue morpho butterfly. The wings are gonna go in same. You can also ask your mom, your dad to help you. We're gonna make a, the first wing on the top. And then we're gonna make the wing on the bottom. I'm kind of looking at it and I think this is good. So I think that that's pretty much how the blue morpho butterfly's wings look sort of like this. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut it. 
if uh, I think that you guys can cut it on your own because we have practiced so many times cutting things in the classroom. But maybe you don't have like kid scissors at home. There's only like grown up scissors. So then you can ask your mom and your dad to help you. I don't want you to cut yourselves. I want you to be safe. And here we go. We're making. There we go. So we have our butterfly on one side is blue and the other side is brown. So now we're going to see, we're going to take a look at the blue morpho butterfly and we're going to see that around the blue morpho butterfly, uh, it is um, black. So I'm going to make a little bit of black around it. I'm going to take that half of the paper that I cut before so I don't get my table dirty. Mm, this is not black. And do I have anything black? I don't think I have black. I thought this was black. No, it's blue. Oh, well, like I said, I don't have a black color. So then I'm going to use my pencil. It's kind of like black. And then I'm going to go around like this. You can also use paints. You can also use um, markers. You can also use crayons anything that you want to use. So I'm going to make this around. That's one side and then I'm going to color the other side. It goes like sort of like around the edge and I'm going to color it. It's okay if I come out because that's why I put the paper here so I don't get it dirty. I'm going to do the same here. I'm going to color all the edges. And I'm going to color the edges here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the other side. So for the other side, let's take a look again at the blue morpho butterfly. And we're going to see that the other side has these beautiful circles. You can see them. So I'm going to take my pencil. I have to grab it like this so I can look at them. Okay, so I'm going to take my, ah, with my left hand. Here we go. I'm going to grab this. Oh, no, an antenna broke off. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to make the three circles on the top like this. One, two, and three. And then in the bottom it has one, two, three, and four. And I'm going to do the same on the other side as one, two, and three. And then it has one, two, three, and four. And you see, has remember how we did it with the other butterflies? That we go sort of like around. So we're going to go around, like to make another circle. Can you see it? So I'm going to make a circle outside of the other circle. So I'm just going to go around the line where I make the circle and then I'll make the other circle like this. Oops. Like this. And now I'm going to take a darker color. I have a darker brown. If you don't have darker brown, you can also use um, 
uh, um, black or gray or something like that and you see it has those little circles inside that are a little darker so I'm gonna do that they have also like a little white on the center I don't have white so I'm just gonna not color the whole circle like this I'm gonna put the blue morpho butterfly back because I cannot do it with holding it in my hand. Thank you, blue morpho. So I'm gonna go around like this. Just like that white in the middle. It also has these lines on the on the side. They look like a zigzag line, remember? Because it was to the left, to the right, to the left, to the right. A little bit like this. Yeah, had like two. And then I has them on the other side too. Goes up and down, up and down. And I'm going to make them here too. And then here too. I'm going to make the body somehow like this. And this we have. I have a blue morpho butterfly on one side is brown. And the other side is blue. And I hope you liked it. I hope you made a beautiful blue morpho butterfly. You can all remember, you can ask your mom or your dad. And uh, don't forget to watch the Go to Go, Bo Go uh, episode about the blue morpho butterfly because you're going to learn a lot of things about them. And I will see you very soon. I'm going to be showing you more insects, how to draw different insects. We're going to do a few songs about insects and we're also going to be reading a few books about insects. Have a good day and don't forget to do your work, okay? Bye!